They're really going on in for the, the feet enthusiasts in these updates, uh, let's be honest. The booba is overflowing. Look at that booba just trying to break free from her dress. Insane. <laughs> oh my god! That's. I can't. This is crazy. Subscribe, please! Oh, YouTube! I'm going to your live with another video on Azure Lane because we've had a lot of news since all the drug marketing we had between the 6th and 7th. We are now on the 9th. I'm a bit late on a few things, but I do want to cover them. Also, if you guys didn't know, there was a live stream on the Japanese YouTube channel. Um, during the big event, it was like there was a day one, day two. And uh, they basically showed everything that's going to be happening. Unfortunately, it was not streamed in English. Um, it was not very well marketed for the English side of things. But there was a lot of information. Um, I'm not going to be talking about everything, but I'm going to be talking about some of the things that have not been announced in EN very, very quickly. First and foremost, we have confirmed the collaboration between Azure Lane and Two Love Ru Darkness, which is kind of crazy. For those who don't know Two Love Ru, um, it's actually a manga series. It's kind of old, I would say. It's very, very etchy. It makes total sense to have an etchy manga collab with a game like Azure Lane, considering that Azure Lane is also uh, for degenerates out there. So good stuff. I'm actually very looking forward to it. I don't know when this is gonna be going live Um, I doubt this is gonna be happening next patch, right? Because the next big patch is gonna be all the UR stuff I think this is just a collab confirmation Rather than a this is happening right now, you know Moving on for the things that actually are going to matter in the near future. We have had a new meta sheet being announced being Hie. And she, I love the way she looks. She looks way more, um, I don't, I don't know how to say it. She looks way more, compared to a lot of the other meta sheeps, I feel like she's doing okay. <laughs> I feel like some of the meta sheep are like, they're like, oh my god. That, that's truly the, the worst timeline. And here she's like, am I the meta sheep? With the finger on the I think she's so cute. I uh, absolutely love her. So we're getting Hie Meta, uh, as a battle cruiser, super rare, blah, blah, blah. Shelling and HP being very high. Uh, interesting stuff. I love her facial expression. She looks very cute. I think her design, I, I kind of like it. I feel like it's quite simple, but it looks very, very good. Uh, she died a horn. Yeah, she has one of her horns is bigger than the other. I don't know if that's uh, on base, but I really like her outfit. I think she looks great. I love the, the sword. Like all of the the scarf on the scabbard, I think she looks great to be honest. It's like it's like simple, elegant. I love it, and she has like obviously a big ring in the back. I think the the backdrop is beautiful with the bamboo forest. It seems like a bamboo forest here, but I might be wrong to be honest. And we have a beautiful waterfall. I think this art is fantastic. I I am looking forward to her. Um, definitely gonna be pushing for her. It says, Battle Cruiser Hie at your service. I'm ready to patrol and or head into battle, so let us sort here at your earlier's convenience. Nice. I think she looks great. And now for the Marylands fan out there. Marylands one of the first ships I did focus on because I'm a recently new player recent new player. And um I I'm so happy to see that she's getting a retrofit right now. Uh so I, I I'm I'm very happy. Um I, my knowledge is kind of limited, to be honest. Uh, some people have been told me it's like the big seven or something. She's one of them, apparently. I don't know. And here we have... Man, the way she looks, she is so badass. I kind of like... Um, I find it interesting because she kind of reminds me of uh, Indiana, we just got recently, right? We're the massive punch, like they're both like massive bruisers. Indiana has a full-on uh, Jojo stands behind her. And here we have a massive feast with like the cannon on top. It's absolutely beautiful. USS Maryland retrofit color of the class power up. 
and uh, obviously she's going to be an SR retrofit, and I'm very, very interested here. And uh, she says, Fighting Mary has arrived, just thought I'd say hello before I went off to the battlefield. And uh, down here it says, my retrofit is capital D, Dawn. <laughs> I generally know what's changed. The details, I'll discover in line battles. That's all right with you. Dang! Not me leaving Breaking Maryland and I heard to prepare for a retrofit. Ooh! You got time, you got time, you got time. You got time. Then we have some skins. The L2D skins have been revealed. And uh, they are a doozy. In this castle of dreams, this throne belongs to you and me equally. Uh, and Maggie looking absolutely uh, crazy here. The thickness is out of this world. Look at that thigh. Her thigh is bigger than her head. Her thigh is bigger than her head. Also, what is Stab doing? <laughs> what, what is she doing with that stuff between the leg? And you might say, oh, it's all right. But you guys have not seen the animations. You have not. They're really going on in for the, the feet enthusiast in these updates. Uh, let's be honest. The booba is overflowing. Look at that booba just trying to break free from her dress. It's a... <laughs> oh my god! That's... I can't. This is crazy. Dude! I, uh, what the hell? I love how she literally has high heels, but just for the coomers, she's magically taking them off to show you her feet. It's absolutely crazy. <laughs> um, now, that said, I think she looks beautiful, sure. Now, um, I will say, personally, I I'm not super into this. I think her base outfit. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had a change of key. A change of key. Her base outfit, I think, is really beautiful. Uh, this is probably not the kind of skin I'll be buying. I don't really care. I think her base outfit is just perfect already. And I know a lot of people really love the lewdness and all of that. Uh, I'm not super into it, especially when they like really hammer you down with the feet. I don't really care about the feet, uh, I'm gonna be honest. Um, it's not for me, I understand that a lot of people like it, but it's not really for me. And here, honestly, I think her base skin is so beautiful here. She's so elegant and pretty. I, this, for me, is absolute fucking pick. So to me, the skin is kind of a downgrade. But also, I completely understand, like, the dress, it's like she's ready to go on a soiree. She's absolutely fantastic. And beautiful, she's incredibly thick. I understand why people would like it, uh, but I I very like the the elegant and almost demure aspect she has with the the other one. Anyway, moving on, we have a skin, and this one this one I can get a little bit more behind. I think she looks absolutely beautiful. So this is obviously the garments of everlasting magic. This is for what I say, a new ship girl has been announced. A uh, base outfit looks more like a mermaid, right? And here she's wearing a full dress. Um, and yes, obviously, there's a lot of ears. But, oh, I just realized that she's like in a, in a, how do you call that? Carros? I don't know what that's called. This thing. It, it's straight out of a fairy tale. This reminds me of like Snow White or something. No, not Snow White. Um, Cinderella. But here, I think like here, I think she's very elegant. Um... And uh, I, I really like, like, here we see the horn, the haircut, it's cute. I, I love the black and purple dress. This is an awesome combination. Uh, this one, I can get behind a little bit more. Uh, I think it's uh, absolutely beautiful. Oh, I just realized the... Uh... Yeah, literally, those are glass slippers. This is Cinderella. Her shoes is literally glass slipper. It, it's it's see-through. Okay, okay, yeah. So this is Cinderella. And obviously this is L2D. Oh damn. Put it on the thigh. Tights. Amagi CV can share skin with a base counterpart. Really? Oh, that's cool that they do some crossover between the things. Pumpkin carriage. Carriage, that's the word I was looking for. 
お洋服に合わせてこしらえたものですよ。Like this one, I can get a little bit more behind. It's um, I, I I'm gonna say something incredibly controversial, but I I like it when my characters are not too too lewd. I think a little bit of like. Light eroticism. I think when it's a bit more subdued, I prefer it in general. When it compared to straight out like half naked and stuff. So yeah, I really like this one. Be careful not to step on the dress, eh? I'll step on the dress, alright. <laughs> uh next so we have the blissful service skin for Belfast. Um this one's outrageous. Uh, that's what I mean. Like this is just not for me. Like, th this is just like, we have the feet, we have the, 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 the bottle of soda literally coming all over the place. She's grabbing her booba, it's breaking her bra, like this is, this is what I mean. This is too much for me. I, I just can't. To me, this is the same level of the other one we had for um, Fargo with the milk being splashed on her. It's like, I'm good. <laughs> I understand why this is happening, but it's just I'm not the targeted audience. <laughs> if you like it, it's perfectly fair. I understand. Look at that! What is she doing? She's chilling here, groping herself. What? She's using her bra to open the can. This is outrageous. Anyway, moving on. I I don't have anything to say about this. It's crazy. <laughs> uh, master, are you listening? You seem distracted because you don't know where to look. Oh, I see. Yeah, I wonder why. <laughs> what does she say here? Commander, perhaps it would be more fitting to dress you as my lord for this occasion. That's good. Uh, in this castle, you know, this throne belongs to you and me equally. Since you're already in a dreamland paradise, you want to take advantage of the opportunity to fully and indulge yourself. Uh, it's not only just this outfit, but carried as well. Isn't it dreamy as a fairy tale? Okay. The step of the will go down this summer, so I brought cold carbonated drinks for you to fend off heat stroke. Who says I brought cold carbonated drinks? Come on, just say soda. Uh, and here we have the occult clash. We have a new skin for Sheffield. Um, bang, as usual, you fail to guard your back. This may just be a game, but I won't abide. Uh, carelessness master. Etchaman Sheffield changing to a new attire. And I think this one is very pretty. I like it a lot. Um, like, I, I'm gonna say it. I, I'm a sucker for, for the, uh, the butterfly. Um, the butterfly look to it. The butterfly, uh, what you want to call it? Sorry, my cat. I'm a sucker for the butterfly um, motif. I think it's really, really cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In general, girls with butterfly, I think they're very pretty. Uh, for example, um, like Shorekeeper, that's coming up in Wuthering Wave, right? And you can see like the the high he the, the heels are very pretty as well. I love all the little ribbons. I love ribbons. Ribbons and butterfly. Mwah! Uh, so here, I think she, she looks very cute. Very, very cute. I, I don't really know Sheffield, though, I will say. Um, but I think it's very, very pretty, and uh, I really like it. It's it's very cute. I don't know what the tentacles are doing, though. I assume she's controlling them. I hope she's controlling them. And, uh, yeah, moving on. We also have a skin for, obviously, some of the other new girls. And here we have Winter's Beauty Ball Gown, which is a skin for Suzunami, which is one of the epic characters coming out. Um, and yeah, it's a, it's a little dress. She's cute. We, we have a cute cat girl in a little cat dress. Um, I think it's alright. I think she just looks adorable. She has a little tiara. Um, I, I love the, the color. The, the sticking with the, the, the azure or the cyan to, to match with her hair. Uh, so obviously we can even see she has the white tip on her tail. So we stay with the white and, and blue. I think it's very cute. I think it's very adorable. Sorry for calling you here this early, Commander. I was just hoping you could check if I'm wearing my dress right. And I would say she is. She's adorable. Look at her. She she looks like a small princess. And then, this is a pretty far departure from a base skin. We have a skin for Hayase. And Hayase is the Shrine Maiden, which is not something you could easily recognize from this skin. Um, Commander, it's already past the scheduled time, but I still haven't finished chaining yet. I can see that, yes. 
Um, so most of for the um, defeat and uh, Titan Enjoyer here. Uh, we, the skin is literally her not wearing her clothes yet, which tells you a lot regarding what kind of skin they make. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, there is a lot of skin. We can see a massive booba. I would say the only thing I don't like about this skin is that her rabbit is gone. She has a rabbit on her head in the base outfit and the rabbit is not here. I'm very upset about it. Because <laughs> I think the rabbit is like so freaking cute. Um... Sing like crazy right away. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. A glimpse of the moon rabbit. Yeah, but where's the rabbit though? Because like if you look all the way down here when she was announced, uh should be nearby. Yeah, there she is. She has a little bunai on her head! Where's the bunai? What did you do with the bunai? Did she eat the bunai? What happened? So yeah, that kind of upsets me, but it's okay, it's okay. Overall. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of the skin. I think my favorite would definitely, definitely be Occult Clash. And this one, the Garments of Everlasting Magic. The other ones are not for me. They're either a bit too much or I just don't care that much about those characters. So I don't want to put money in it. But apart from that, what I'm most excited about, obviously, is going to be the Retrofit from Ireland. I love her. I think she looks fantastic here. She looks so badass. EA Meta looks amazing as well. It's so cool to have a new collab. This is gonna be my first collab playing the game because I'm so such a recent a recent player, a recent Kikan. And then obviously I already gave my opinion, but I cannot wait for Amagi CV. I, I'm I'm so hyped. So yeah, uh, you guys, let me know what you think. What's the the thing that has you the most interested for this upcoming patch? I think it's gonna be out like in a few days, right? At this point, I'm pretty sure. Because if you look in game, which is I mean, here, I've got the game open. Confirm, 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 leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone! Because ah! if we check the current events, right, this one ends on... Uh, oh, this ends in a long time, actually. Event mission lock every day until 9-11. So, to me, this says that on 9-11, we're getting the new patch. Am I crazy? 9-11 for this as well. Phase 1 until 9-11. Yeah, I think uh, we are getting the new patch on 9-11. Um, so I I'm super hyped. It is so, so soon. Um, very excited. I'll be here. I'll be playing it. I'll be getting a Maggie. I I'm so, so happy that she's, uh, she's back. I don't know why, but I was instantly locked in. I was like, okay. Do what you gotta do, Akagi. You go, queen. Get your sister. I'm down. <laughs> I'm just like, let's go. And Amagi currently is in my team, and I love her. Now she's not gonna be coughing anymore, hopefully. She's gonna be a, a happy little queen. Pat, 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 pat. She's the best. Anyway, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, subscribe, all the good, good. And I'll see you on next video.